So we already have, we're, we're being, there's no reason for them. But they tell you what, that you can't smoke in the plane. They tell you you can't, you better put your baby in the back seat and put it in a seat buckle. They're going to tell you, people, from the time you get up what to do till the time you go to bed unless we wake up. That's what slavery is. That's what socialism is. Now many people say, well, we are going to be social. At least we won't be communism. What's, what's Russia? The United Socialistic Soviet Republic. What was Nazis? National Socialistic Labor Party. What did our president and first lady want right after they got in office? Socialized medicine. We're already socialized, whether you know it or not, by our welfare and all the other programs we have in place. We're already, we're already in serious trouble financially, too, as you look at this, this, this uh, slide. We know a lot about the Federal Reserve debt. It's a 5.6 trillion right now. Now, you know what a trillion is? If I took a million seconds, it would take 11 and a half, 12 days. If I took a billion seconds, it'd be 35 years. If I took a trillion seconds, it'd be 35,000 years. So it's, it's a long time. It's big. But we, were, we thought we were 5.6 trillion in debt. 5.2, 5.1. But they never tell us about the off budget. That's where they put IOUs. They pull the money out of these funds, all these different retirement funds, and then they put a little piece of paper IOU, and they're going to pay them back someday. They don't say that. Well, when you put the figure to all those, and this came from a congressman out of Minnesota. All these facts came from somebody that, that knew what he, they were talking about. They put a figure of about $20 trillion. Now, if you just had simple interest on $20 trillion, that's $1.4 trillion a year. You know how much we gather in each through our taxes at the present if people don't lose more jobs because of GATT and NAFTA? It's $1.2 trillion. So we're already in the red, just paying interest on this debt every year, $200 billion. But the thing that concerned me most is when they didn't balance the budget, Reuben didn't balance the budget last year, or, but excuse me, yeah, last year, at the beginning of last year, because from August of 95, a nine-month period, till June of 96, we increased the national debt by $5.6 trillion. $5.6 trillion with a T. You don't think we're slaves to the borrowers? If we personally aren't, many of us are personally in debt. I can guarantee you, if you can get out of debt, get out as fast as you can. But most of us aren't in that position. Most of us, in 1970, we didn't forget the off budget now. Let me share this figure with you. In 1970, there were three types of debts, as most Americans knew. They knew about the federal, defs, federal debt, they knew about the state or, state or corporate debt, and they knew about uh, or institutional debt, that's what that one's called, or they knew about the personal debt. Those three equaled $1 trillion in 1970. Twelve years later, they equaled... Uh, $3 trillion. So they tripled in 12 years. That's about equal. $1 trillion for personal debt, $1 trillion for the corporate debt, $1 trillion. 12 years later, $18 trillion. So people are getting in debt just as fast. They're spending those credit. I mean, the, the advertising's working. They know that the pen is mightier than the sword. They know they can brainwash you enough things. You'll go out and just keep buying, keep putting yourself into slavery. I looked at my kids one day at the table, and I said, kids, you know what I'm giving you for inheritance? about a $6 billion debt. That's what I'm giving you because I didn't stand in the gap. I didn't stand up for righteousness and justice. I let the government continue to spend this stuff on whether the tsetse fly, you know, uh, the mating patterns of certain things, whether, you know, a bur belching cow affects the ozone layer. That's what they spend money on. They're determining, they're, they're taking our children's money and putting us into debt by putting all these government programs that most of us don't even care about. Well, there's going to be a day that we care about it, I promise you. Because on a talk show program here not long ago, a uh, retired congressman, he's from my area, uh, Bill Dannemeyer, said when asked, what is the collateral for all this debt? He said, you are, your children are, your land is, and your resources are. So they're going to collect on that debt sometime. You say, well, they can't collect from me. we got a strong military. We'll find out about that in just a few minutes. They now have the ability to collect. See, our Secretary of Treasury doesn't even work for the work for the government. He's paid by the he's paid by the uh, international bankers. Guess who's part of the Secretary of Treasury? BATF. You can see their reports on Waco. It's BATF. Or it's the it's the IRA, or Excuse me. It's Secretary of Treasury that put out the report on that. 
so these so these militia are not militia excuse me guys uh, these uh, uh, mercenaries that they hire are working for the internationalists if that isn't good enough we'll see some other things in just a few minutes I've mentioned this before. It, you should take it to heart. A bar is a slave to lender. A nation of bars is a nation of slaves. I think we're there. I think we don't even know it, and we're in slavery. And if you think you can go hide, many people say, I just want to get out of here. I'm going to go find a place just to get away from it. <laughs> no, they know who you all are. If you, have an IR, if you have a Social Security number, for example, you've been registered with the Department of Commerce. Now, you know what the Department of Commerce is? It's where they take wheat and dirt and oil and make an item of something, and you're, you're registered with the Department of Commerce. You're, you're a human resource. They figure uh, the younger ones are worth more money because they got a longer time to work in these slave labor camps. An older person like me, what Hitler did is he just took him out and shot him. I doubt if they'll use a, a bullet because it wastes a bullet. Many parts of the country, they do not waste the bullet. That's why they lined them up in Germany four, five, six deep and shot five of them at the same time. People, what we didn't learn from history, what we don't learn from history is, is bound to, to repeat itself. What we fail to learn, we're bound to happen again, I guarantee you, if we don't pay attention to what happened in Germany and Russia all throughout the world when they took over these countries. Anyway, these things go to Geneva, Switzerland. And why Geneva, Switzerland, again, you're going to hear it's a neutral company, remember, but they have in, the, in Geneva, Switzerland, a large building, or in one of the Swiss towns, not Geneva, but it's a huge, huge building. It's about two blocks square. It's circular. Again, you'll see these Freemasonries like circles and squares and triangles and all their different things that they use. But if you looked at that from the top, it would be in three pies. It'd be your little peace sign. That's one of their symbols also. The three pies, one part is the headquarters for the United Nations. One part is the headquarters for, for the Freemasonry. One part of it is for the World Bank. See, they knew that they could bring us into slavery and they could bring on this religion through Freemasons. I would guess if the truth be known, most churches have one, two, three, four members of Freemasons on their board of elders or whatever they call those guys if not the pastor. I would be surprised because there seems to be some reason today that this, so there's silence at these pulpits. This is the first church I've ever been in. And I don't intend to going in any church because they're afraid to bring somebody like me in the churches. I just as soon go to a library or go to some place building where I pay the rent and invite people in there to hear this message and they come from all the different churches. They're non-denominational, basically. But they're people that are seeking the truth. Because the pulpits aren't talking about the blood that's being shed. The pulpits didn't mention a word when our president uh, banned the uh, veto on partial birth abortion. Yeah, I hope you understand. We'll, we'll talk about that in just a few minutes. That's the most evil practice ever developed by mankind. It would put a smile on the Nazi or the Gestapo doctors in those Nazi prison camps and put a smile on their face if they, if they could do that to some baby three inches from being birthed. Let's look at the environment. They, they feel like we have to protect the environment. In fact, Mikhail Gorbachev says it's a cornerstone. Well, this is one of the most evil, radical UN treaties ever signed, ever put together, was in Istanbul, Turkey last year, June of last year. Why do I say that? It has to do with taking away the people's land, first of all, and they've already mapped out the United States, and they're already rewilding in it. Out in the West Coast, you hear more of it than other places. Most of it's being done out there. They've mapped out other states, too. But what they're doing is giving it back to the buffalo so they can roam, giving it back to the wolves so they can have their area, giving it back to, to, to this nature. There was a farmer out in California. I could tell stories all night, and there's no, really no time to do that. But there was a farmer out there that ran over a kangaroo rat. And, and then he was, they were going to take his land away from him. The reason we had some of those fires is because they, people couldn't clear the brush away because it was a no-clear zone out in this Riverside County area out there because there were rats that lived there. So they're more concerned about saving the whales than they are about these unborn babies. In fact, there was a man fined out in California $150,000 for breaking the eagle's egg. 
What do we do if you break a fetus, tear a fetus apart in a mother's womb? The most dangerous place to be in America today, people, is in a mother's womb. 